SGC here and we're back with a first impression. This is kinda late, but I was like, hey, Julie Benz is in this. I think I should check it out. Since I missed her ever since she left Dex. So Defiance season one, episode one. Yes, I'm late to the show, but ugh. Anyway, this is an American Science TV series developed by Rockney S. O'Bannon. Kevin Murphy and Michael Taylor, and it is a transmedia collaboration with Tryon Worlds, which have released a MMORPG video game of the same name, which is tied to the series. Oh, I have heard of this series, but I never watched it until now. So the story begins pretty much in the year 2046. Earth has been radically transformed, I mean, causing changes to topography, extinction of plant and animal species, and emergence of a new species. And pretty much the series follows Joshua Nolan, played by Grant Bowler, and his adopted Arafian daughter by the name of Erisa, played by Stephanie Leonidas, that's a badass last name, who have put down roots in Defiance, which is a city-state community where humans and several extraterrestrial races, collectively known as the Votons, coexist over the partially rebuilt ruins of St. Louis. So as the first episode, as the pilot, it was an hour and a half, and holy crap, a lot of things happening. We have the establishment of Defiance, and we have the establishment of Joshua and his daughter in this Defiance thing, and a lot of things happen. A lot of family feuds happen as well, characters are set up, and then there's this threat that came out of nowhere, and then, you know, people band together, and then worked at a set you know, town and sort of like defended themselves and that's pretty much the entire episode. I would say in terms of character development, there is like an establishment of who the characters are and Joshua changes as like, whoa, now we know he's like a caring guy. And I do wonder what the rest of the entire series is going to be about beside, you know, just doing day-to-day -day things because I mean, if they establish the entire world, I really hope that they talk about the, you know, what happens to the earth. I think mean, they're going to talk about that. And there's like this conspiracy thing happening. I wonder what's going to be up with that. And basically, it has interest me to continue. I mean, Julie Benz. The way I enjoyed the entire cast. It was fun. I think the biggest thing for me is that Aliens for me has always been this thing that I look up to or look forward to in terms of like how they can design them. And I would say this series is pretty lazy in terms of alien design. There's a lot of humanoids walking around and, you know, just adding like a bump to their. I don't know what this part of the face is called, but that's an alien race, or make them like super big and what have you, and they're an alien race, or give them reptilian skin and they look like humanoids, and make them have weird ears or not earlobes, and they're humans. Oh, well, you know, they're aliens. So basically, I was sort of upset or just disappointed with the general alien sort of look, and it's coming from a sci fi network and it's just kind of like oh I sort of wish you put more money into that instead of all this weird you know CGI in terms of just trucks and bikes and everything but I did like the bio man in this episode the bio man was pretty badass but beyond that I was just like oh I guess I guess more like the the Iraphians reminded me of like the bagel heads in Japan but instead of like popping out a bagel in your forehead it's like a bagel and dent in your in your here so ugh. I mean beyond that I enjoyed it I mean it's your typical like rogue coming out of nowhere and helping saving the day sort of thing and Julie Benz Julie Benz so that's pretty much it I mean it's an hour and a half for a pilot and there's a lot of things that happen and I think the pacing was done well like I didn't find it boring like I sort of like saw cliche stuff going left and right like I mean driving you do not drive like this when you're driving a straight road or when you're driving ever so please please for love of humanity and entertainment please don't exaggerate your driving because it's overacting and it just pisses me off but beyond that it was enjoyable an hour and a half and I look forward to episode two and hopefully I'll catch up season two I mean I have tons of stuff to watch I keep saying that all the time but I'm starting a new series because I'm like I need new things new things are nice but anyway that's pretty much it for this first impression of Defiance season one episode one